The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the October 14th, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader's Zed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. We knew when I make that one little two by four shift. Well, means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to give us a call. We'd love to hear from you, 877-927-6648. If you can't call them, we've got you covered there, too. You can always send me an email. Send it to Steve at TFNN.com. Inside that subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question in, in our Tiger's Den, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, all the U.S. and ECs traded to the upside. Dow's up 1.5%, as is the S&P, 480 and 67 points. The Nasdaq's up 1 and 8 tenths percent, 262 points. The semis are up nearly 3%. That's 89 points to the upside. Gold is up 3 bucks. Silver up 34 pennies. Lights recruit up 58 cents. Leading the charge dollar-wise, it's Google. Up 66 bucks. Booking holdings, 44. ASML holdings up 28, or about 4%. Upstart holdings, 24, 70%. 7%. Amazon up 22 or about uh, less than one tenth of a percent. To the downside, off 14% is Futu Holdings. AMN Healthcare down 10. That's 9%. Chart Industries off 4% or 8 bucks. Align Technology down 6 and Avis is down 6 as well. So no questions that we've got in the queue. Uh, so let's just go take a look at the uh, markets overall, see what they're doing. We'll begin by take a look at the daily profile levels and we can see here on the left hand side that the uh, ES is trading above the top of that profile and above a, a prior swing point right now that prior swing point that could set up an A to B equals CD to the upside is from October the 7th the high out there is 44.21.50 we're play, trading right now at 44.21 odds favor with price being above the top of its daily profile a move up to this little junior consolidation pattern up into about the 4471 level the nq is also trained above the top of its profile above its swing points that sets up an a to b equals cd pattern volume or not it does well i took a look at the spies they didn't really have the volume necessarily uh to take out that swing point but even if you take out the swing point on light volume does not mean it won't complete an a to b equals cd the a to b equals cd in the nq the one to one takes you to 15 219 the 1.272 expansion takes you to 15,391. Uh, and it also has resistance at the top of its little junior consolidation at about the 15, call it 15,400. The Dow has not uh, joined the party just yet. Now, it's joined the rally party, but the party that it has not joined is the break above the top of its daily profile. So resistance is held. The high so far today in the Dow equity future contract is 34,773. 34,778 is the top of that daily profile. Now, with price trading inside this little junior consolidation, this white rectangle area, our skirt won't uh, get uh, blown up until we see a close above. Doesn't have to happen today. 34,934. You get that? And then the larger consolidation patterns come into play. The Russell 2000 currently trading above the top of its daily profile. That could suggest to move up to the top of its consolidation in the 2340 level. Watch today's close. A close above 2266. 90 uh, gives you the uh, signal that price wants to move higher. So that's what's coming from those charts. If we look at the weekly time frame charts out here, and this is what will be really important tomorrow. 
it's important right now, and that is this. We just see prices consolidating with inside those weekly profiles. Now, there is a new weekly profile inside the Dow Equity Future contract. So in addition to the numbers that we took a look at a daily time frame, the really critical number for it is 34,987. If price were to close above that, and if this profile holds, which at this moment it looks like it will, that would be a very bullish move out there. The other side of it, not the other side of it, but the other piece of information from this set of charts is that the uh, – and the NQ, even though we're concerned about a change in trend, you get a change in trend if you close below the bottom of that weekly profile. It needs to really do it for two consecutive uh, sessions, two consecutive weeks. Uh, that appears to have been uh, nothing to worry about, at least not just yet. We've had substantial, um, uh, uh, substantial. Uh, what do I want to say out here? Uh, what do I want to say? Uh, the, the advanced decline. Advancers are outpacing decliners significantly, and we take a look at the advanced decline oscillator reading. This is the New York Stock Exchange up at the top. The center is the advanced decline oscillator. That's a difference between the 39 and 19 day uh, exponential moving average of the advanced decline line. I know it's a mouthful out there. That's why I had to take a bit of a pause. But that's what it is, and that's a very helpful feature. Now, as you know, when that gets down to the minus 150 level, that's when we get into that oversold. You expect an oversold and or bounce. I've got the plus 150 level. Right now we're trading at 152.50. I wish that the tops work the way that they do at the bottoms, but they don't. That doesn't mean that we don't use that tool. Typically, the way that tops will form uh, using this uh, tool, this indicator here, is we'll typically get price continue to move higher. And then we see lower highs in advanced decline oscillator. So that takes a period of days at least to generate. The more important message will be, if the advanced client oscillator close above 150, and right now it's 152.55, when you get close above plus 150, what it tells us, what it signals to you and I, is higher price. That does not mean higher price tomorrow. I didn't say higher price tomorrow. It gives us the signal of higher price. And the likelihood, because of, now we don't know where the close will be. And this is important. It's really about the close, not where it's trading at 113. But I at least want to be able to help you to understand is to the extent that any of you use the advanced client oscillator for the New York Stock Exchange, if we do get a close above plus 150, that signals we're going back to the highs and likely the, uh, the all-time high and likely above that as well. So that could be a signal on top of the other signals that we've had that the seasonal pattern kicked in. And it kicked in last week when the NQ, which was the holdout, generated its Gartley buy pattern. So we'll want to watch that. That is a bullish message. As we take a look at the spot volatilities, we can see clearly below the 50-day exponential moving average in a big way. And now price is headed towards the bottom of that Bollinger Band at 1645. That does not mean that price is going to stop there. What else do we want to take a look at? Um, what else would be important to look at out here? Not much that I can think of with regard to the equity markets at the moment. So what we're going to do here is I've got a technical issue. And so we're going to resolve that technical issue during the break. And then we come back to the break. If there are some questions, we'll certainly take those. We'll field those. Uh, and in lieu of that, they're short of that. I do see Hector's written in. Let's take a look at um, a couple of the symbols out there. So we'll do that. But we'll also go tear apart, tear apart each of the equity futures contracts. Get a feel for whether or not there's any kind of short-term topping signal uh, that is uh, approaching. Or maybe here. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in just a few. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Dow's up 470, S&P up 67 points. Uh, Hector's first question is about American Tower Corp. Both instruments that he's uh, requested, uh, he wants to take a look for a bottom. So in the case of American Tower Corp, you've got several bottoms out here. So, uh, Hector, if you're asking has this formed a bottom, the answer is absolutely. So you've got first you've got the A to B equals CD pattern out here. This is the one that I'll draw in. And uh, we can see that this got down to the 1 to 2 A to B equals CD level. So the first confirmation of that by the D point, that occurred right here. Big old bullish engulfing candle. That's October the 6th. That was a bullish engulfing and a key reversal bar. You then get a second, and that says at the bottom of that candle, that is at uh, 261.11 is support. That support level never got taken out. When I say taken out, a close below. You then get a Three River Morning Star pattern. That occurs between October 8th, October 11th, and October 12th out there. So there's another bottom. And then you get a hammer candle yesterday. So if the question is, is American Tower Corp trying to form a bottom, Hector, couldn't be more clear to us that it is. Now, price is inside a slightly bullish structured profile. Price is at the center of that box. That's where both buyers and sellers believe there's fair value. Doesn't mean that price is going to continue to move higher. It could pull back from here. So you're really kind of in a neutral zone uh, as we speak, you're asking for a buy point. You know, yesterday would have been a buy point. Uh, two days ago would have been a buy point. Three days ago would have been a buy point. We've really kind of covered that. So, um, yeah, you've got a buy point inside of American Tower out there. Now, I would say it's a buyable bottom. You can see that price is below the weekly. Uh, profiles and consolidating inside the monthly. So, you know, it's not like you've got uh, the wind totally at your back, but with regard to the daily time frame, absolutely. So let's pull over the uh, Stevie's white background charts. That's just going to show the roads meant to indicate. Oh, you got a second, a, th a fourth 
signal out here. You have wave number G. That is in uh, Chapman. That's, a, that's wave number seven, I should say. Uh, letter G in the uh, Chapman wave uh, uh, system. This is not the Chapman wave system. You want to actually learn that from Basil. This is just really one element of it. But we do know that at wave number seven, we can see turns in the market. So you've got everything that you want here. Now, if price can get above 273, the message is that price wants to get back to 297 out there. You're looking, I don't know if you want to get cute out here and I'm not saying that you're not cute already but I meant cute with regard to trying to enter this so if we take a look at a 30 minute time frame chart we're going to see a TD9 count top that is in place out here that formed Hector at 1030 this morning prices just moved sideways so and without much of a pullback the cuteness would be getting down to about the 266 62 level don't quote me on the exact 62 cents because price is going to move up or down depending on uh, uh, with regard to the oscillator and change line. So you could get a little bit of a pullback out there. Now, if price got below the oscillator and change line, you'd be looking at 264, 263. I don't have any indication to suggest that that's what's going to happen out there, but a little bit of a pullback would make sense. Um, if I look at the 195 minute chart, that looks good. That's got a bottom. The 130 has got a bottom. The 65's got a bottom. So, yeah, this is absolutely trying to bottom Hector. So I hope that that helps you out. And best of luck to you inside of American Tower. Your next request, which was for a public service announcement, I believe, PSA is the ticker symbol. And that actually stands for what? Public storage. Public storage trading above the top of its daily profile. On its way to resistance, that's the top of the weekly profile, 327. Price trading at 323. And the top of the monthly is at 322. And price is basically trading right into that. That. Now, with regard to a bottoming signal here, that train left the station. That train left the station on the trading day of, let's get my crosshair out here, the trading day of uh, right here on October the 6th. Nice big old bullish engulfing candle confirming a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal. This was in a nice big old bullish structured profile, Hector. I wish we had looked at this uh, four, five, six days ago because that was a nice setup. You really like to see bottom patterns form. And either shortly thereafter or perhaps or even while it's forming, price gets back inside of a bullish structured profile. If you're asking me where is PSA headed to, well, 330.88 is the likely target. That's its TD9 breakdown resistance level for the daily time frame. I would say, um, you know, that that ship has already sailed. You'd all, you know, you'd be you'd be taking this on a momentum move. You wouldn't take it now, that's for sure, because you do have a TD9 count top for the 30 minute time frame. And we may see a pullback. Yeah, price has got to get below that oscillator and change line. So I'd say let PSA sit on the side and uh, focus on AMT. So, Hector, thanks so much for writing in. I hope that that helps you and Patty out. Have a, a terrific uh, Thursday out there. So no more other requests at the uh, moment. And uh, so let's do what I suggested that we would do, which is go pick apart each of the equity future contracts out here. So give me a moment. This will take just a few moments to set up. I've got to change screens and actually get one screen powered up. So I think we've got that all set now. So here we're going to be looking at the ES Mini. Stevie's eight panel set of charts out here. Taking it long term, meaning we go back and take a look at the monthly all the way down to the 30 minute time frame chart. So, on the 30 minute time frame chart for the ES, that's what you're going to go to first because we see a TD9 count top that formed. This formed, oh, I take that back. We do not have a TD9 count top. So, I don't have a topping pattern. Yeah, I could draw in all kinds of A to B equals CD patterns out here, but uh, we're not going to. Uh, so, you've got a pullback. And, and we respect the A to B equals C. No reason for me to draw that in. So the first level of support in the ES mini on the 30-minute chart is going to be about the 44.18 level. If that level is just tested and rejected, then it's back off to the upside. As I scan the other time frame charts out here, looking for any kind of a potential topping signal, I do see a TD9 count pattern in the 240. That uh, bar uh, closes at 2 p.m., so another 36 minutes from now. But it could be the bar following that, which is not till 4 o'clock inside the ES mini. So it can be bar 9, which is going to form at 2, but it can also be the bar following 9. That'll take us to 4 p.m. With regard to any other signals out here on a, a topping pattern, I don't have them. So it's really only the 240-minute chart. Whatever's going on on the 30-minute chart out here right now, nothing big. Watch for price to likely hold that green oscillator and change line, which has been tested several times uh, since last evening, early this morning, and prices just held that level. Uh, nothing else to really report there on the ES that I see. So let's continue moving forward. Let's go next to the uh, NQ.
When we take a look at the NQ, here we've got the same set of charts out here. The daily formed that uh, hammer candle. That was back on the trading day of October 6th, though, so about uh, six, seven, eight trading sessions ago. And uh, that was its confirmed Gartley buy pattern in the seasonal, favorable seasonal cycle. Price, as we talked about during the open of the show, right now is trading above the top of its daily profile. A close above the top of its daily profile would be a bullish signal. Do we have a TD9 count top in the NQ? And the answer is we do. So we don't have it in the ES, but we do have it in the NQ. And in the NQ, we've got it for the 30-minute time frame. I still say that the NQ is probably the most important chart for us to continue and follow. And so the uh, 12.30, the high was, that was a bar folly bar number nine, 15.039. Where was this close here? Close was 15.038. So you've got a valid TD9 count top inside the NQ. What does that say? That says, first, price should go down and test the oscillator and change line, 15.009. Folks, the reason that I developed the oscillator and change line was to understand, allow the market to communicate to us, to communicate when a retracement is just a retracement or when it's going to turn into something more, or when a bounce or a counter trend rally is just a bounce or it's going to turn into something more. If price holds that green oscillator and change line, you know the move out there. That's nothing more than getting back to support inside the NQ. So pulling back to 15.010, don't start saying, that's it. It's over. The top is in inside the NQ. Not that it couldn't be, but that's a stretch out there based on everything else that we are looking at in the markets. With regard to the other time frame charts, let's take a look at those. We get back to the break. I see a TD9 count in the two hour and in the four hour that is uh, forming. And uh, we'll be back in just a few, folks. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
Welcome back, folks. So we're going to go ahead and uh, dissect and bisect the NQ. I've got the two-hour time frame chart up on our screen. So this candle that we're in right now completes at 2 p.m. Now, the cool thing about this four-hour time frame, a uh, two-hour time frame chart out here. Well, let's 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 take a look at a couple. First, we've got a TD9 count that's already in place. That was on the bar that finished uh, two, uh, at this uh, comes at two at noon. But as you know, in this pattern. A higher high, this is a topping pattern that we're taking a look at, can form in the bar following bar number nine. Now, the very cool thing about that is whatever that high is, right now, let's take a look at that high. But whatever that high is by 2 o'clock, if price closes above that at 4 o'clock, that tells you about a strong momentum move to the upside. The high at the moment, 1504.75. Now, the other thing I like to do is go back and take a look at valid TD9 count patterns out here, see if they've held or if they haven't. Um, if we take a look at the last valid TD9 count top that formed, this was as price was, let me get the cursor out here. This was right here, and right here I'm talking about uh, 4 p.m., 4 a.m., that is, on October the 7th. And that pattern failed, and price continued to move higher. Now, I don't know why price stopped where it did. I don't really have a, a top, well, I, I do have an A to B equal CD to the upside, but uh, that formed out there with that dark cloud cover. Uh, but that TD9 count, we'd say, uh, really didn't, form a top okay and that's what we're looking at here's a td9 count bottom the one before that that's at two o'clock in the afternoon just looking does does this time frame respect the td9s it's all we're really looking for out here so october 4th at about uh, two o'clock in the afternoon that was the bottom as well as a roads momentum indicator bottom signal out here the top you can see at 20 hundred hours that's on october 3rd that, that was a td9 count that was bar number eight so we and you know so it it it, it does respect if you take a look at these highs out here this is at four o'clock in the morning back on september 27th when this actually made its high, that was a TD9 count top out there. I believe that was also going along with a TD9 count top on the uh, daily time frame. So uh, you've got th this is suggesting that at about, you know, either now or by two o'clock, we should see some type of top. We also have on the four hour time frame. So let's see when this bar here closes. This bar closes at 2 p.m. as well. That has a uh, TD9 count uh, topping pattern that is in place out here. So let's just keep an eye on the NQ. You've got three TD9 count topping signals for these eight different time frames. Well, I should take that back. Really, if I'm going to say the eight different time frames, you've got a TD9 count top on the monthly, and you've got one on the daily as well. But that's not what we're really taking a look at. Those were the ones that were associated with the uh, uh, previous highs out here. So really, the first the step is watching the NQ and watching that oscillator and change line. Right now, that's printed at 15018. If that holds out there, you should expect a continued rally. We have a caller on the line. We've got call ahead seating here. So let's go out to David from Panama City. David, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Doing fine. Dr. Goffner, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Now, uh, what is it that you wanted to look at? Z scale or ZS. I usually uh, shoot you an email about questions and such, but I'm in New York, New York area, actually, for my niece's wedding. Oh, cool. And I jumped into uh, ZS yesterday. I got one out of the money a little bit, bought me some time. I got the 300 calls, uh, November 5 expiration. Okay. And I want to see if you can, whether TD9 or, you know, running fibs or whatever, give me a kind of a projection over the next couple of weeks, just where you think it's going to go. You know, so what it's dealing with right now, it's dealing with its all-time high. And that was, uh, in essence, the week that began September 6th, or the specific day is the uh, September 7th. And if price can close above that high, that high, by the way, is going to be 293.44. What's that? Got it. Same thing. Go ahead. So, yeah, let me actually, I see that I'm not sharing my screen. So let me get that out there in case you want to go back and take a look at it on Tiger TV or maybe you're watching on Tiger TV now. So price is dealing with that resistance level. And that was really for September the 7th. And what you're looking for is for price to close above 293.44. If it does that, now the volume back then on September 7th was 1.9 million shares, David. And today you're at about 1 million shares. So it's probably similar type volume. So it's not as if it's attacking that level on lighter volume. Already has as as ticked above that high. It's got up, gotten up to 294.05 today. But what you're really looking for is a close above 293.44. And it's trading at 292 right now. 
Um, so let me see if I can see anything else on the other charts out here. You specifically asked about maybe a TD9 count top or anything. I don't see that. You're in bar number seven as we speak. So that's not going to set off the high. It's just the prior resistance level of that dark cloud cover candle. And uh, we look at a weekly chart out here. Weekly chart, again, resistance at the same level on a 30-minute time frame. You know, I've got a I've got a TD nine count top that has formed out here, and uh, this suggests that price could pull back to 287.51. It suggests that, but I haven't really seen a signal yet that that's what's going to uh, unfold. Um, so, what do you want to do? What are you going to do here, David? You know, you're you're moving into a swing point. You're moving into resistance. We don't have any clear signal whether price is going to take that out or not. Um, what was the reason that you entered yesterday? Well, Maybe my question, if, I, if it closes above the 293.44 area, yep. um, I'm wondering, uh, could it tag 300 and go beyond a little bit, or do you think it'll do a double top and pull back? So I, I wish I, I wish I had the crystal ball to answer that question for you. I, you know, so we we kind of look to to the volume metrics as prices attacking a swing point, and here it's kind of a coin toss whether it's you know it's, it's similar type volume if it was explosive volume then we'd say yeah you know it's got enough to to get through that um as far as where it might go from here what i would do is i just take and i will do that right now for you just to give you a, a fibonacci expansion of its last set of swing points that looks like about the smallest increment and that would get you to 30571 that's a 1.272 expansion of that level. But you still have to get it close above 293.44. And I just don't know whether you're going to get that. Even if you don't get it today, though, because it would be on similar volume, price should at least go test that level again tomorrow. So do I see a reason for you to pull the trigger on this? Only in that you're in an options trade and you're right up at resistance. And um, you know, you're, you, you've, I'm sure you've made a little bit of money so far. Uh, right. I just don't have any other signals other than that. And, and I don't want to, you know, lie to you or anything or make up a story. Right. Okay. All right, friend. I appreciate okay. your perspective. Hey, you you bet. And enjoy uh, New York. And uh, congrats on the uh, wedding. And uh, we'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. That was David. All right, thank you. In, you bet. That was David in Panama City, who's really in New York City. Uh, so what do you want to do next? So I think there was a request that came in. Yeah, there was. So let's take that. That's coming in from David. Uh, David H., and that's in uh, Tom Ball, Texas. And David wants to take a look at copper and the upside potential on southern copper out here. So for copper, let's uh, do a couple of different things. First, while I'm on these black background charts, let's go find Stevie's uh, four-panel copper chart out here. So in the case of copper, a big, huge move two days of yesterday, taking out its bearish structured daily profile. So that's always a positive. We go look at the weekly, price above the top of the weekly profile. That's a positive. And then we go to the monthly. So David, your question might be, even though you didn't ask that question, is where is resistance? And resistance is going to be the top of that monthly profile. We're trading at 462, 471.13 is it. If copper can close above that, it's free to run back to its highs. Those highs that I'm referring to are back in May. And that would be up at the uh, level of uh, May 10th to be exact up at the level of about 489. When we come back, we'll take a look at my white background charts, and we'll also take a look at Southern Copper. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today.
the technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for valued tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at uh, Dr. Copper, the December contract, which is in bar number eight of a TD nine count pattern out there. That says that a top could form between today and Monday. That's either today's high, tomorrow's high, or perhaps Monday's high. More likely than not, price is going to go target the 478 level. 478 is the uh, TD9 breakdown level. That's coming from the daily time frame. On a weekly chart out here, what Steve, you've got nothing much. It looks very good, very positive. With price above the top of his profile and green oscillator and ch change line, that gives us a little bit more conviction behind the idea that price should go target the 478 level. So not a whole lot more for you and I to uh, review, I think, David, with regard to what Dr. Copper's intent is. Let's go take a look at Southern Copper. And when we take a look at Southern Copper, today price is above the top of its daily profile. It's doing that with volume of about 972,000 shares versus 1.2 million shares from October 11th. This would suggest that Dr. Copper is on its way to the top of its weekly profile, and that's up at the 64.85 level. Let's pull over Stevie's white background charts. We take a look at Dr. Copper. We're going to see that it is in bar number seven. I believe that copper what, all right, we're looking at SCCO. Copper was in bar number eight. Southern Copper is in bar number seven. Its TD9 breakdown level is 7091, but really the target is likely going to be about the highs from July 29th, and that's in the 6775 level. But it does look like this wants to continue to move higher as well. That's the daily time frame. The weekly says what? The weekly also says higher. Now that is assuming that today Southern Copper closes above 6230. 62.30 is its uh, red oscillator and change line on a weekly basis. Granted, it's only it's only Thursday in its weekly chart. But look, if it can get above that, that would be a short-term positive. And that would suggest it move up to 64.85. On a monthly time frame chart, 64.48 would be its signal out there. So that's the upside potential, I think, that you were looking at for Southern Copper. Not that it can't move higher than that, but that's likely where the next battleground areas are and where price is headed to. So I hope that helps you out, David. Thanks so much for reaching out to us, and have a terrific uh, Thursday. Let me just check, see if there's any other requests out there. It looks like there is none. 
I don't believe there's anything inside the tiger's den. So let's just uh, do what we were doing before. I believe we left off with the NQ. Let's go take a look at the uh, Russell 2000 equity future contract, see if we can get any kind of information out of it. So we're going to go ahead and change screens here. Give me a moment just to do that. We'll get back to our eight panel set of charts out there. And uh, what do we have? So I'm looking again, and my eyes just immediately went to the 30-minute time frame chart because I see a confirmed top out there. Do I see confirmed tops in anything else, any other time frames, that is? And the answer is no, 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 and no. Uh, so I don't see anything out there. Let's just go study the 30-minute chart then. So in the case of the Russell 2000, you can see that this has a Rogemontum indicator top. It was a bearish engulfing candle that formed 15 minutes ago. Price is below that oscillator and change line. Likely targeted to the downside in the Russell 2000 would be 2265.10. You could make the case that it could get to 2261.60 and there would be nothing wrong with it. That's because that was a slightly bearish structured profile. And on a counter trend retracement, counter trend move, uh, we would look at about 226, 2261 to 2265 out there as the potential support area on a further pullback out there. Uh, is there anything else inside the Russell 2000 that's worthwhile to bring to your attention? The answer is there isn't. So we're not going to do that. We're going to switch over and take a look at the Dow. That way we will cover it all for equity future contracts out here. And we'll take a look at the YM uh, for its 30-minute time frame. It's got a TD9 count top. It's got a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. But look how strong the Dow is. So the Dow was making those topping patterns, and price was just really sitting at that oscillator and change line, and this has rejected it. So as we speak right now, for a 30-minute time frame, the Dow is in neutral territory because you have a valid top, but you also have support that is held. So how do you play this? Look, if uh, the YM on a 30-minute basis, well, I was going to say if it closes above that TD9 count top, it's off to the races. But I see there's a TD9 breakdown resistance level. So 34,803 is where the next level of resistance is, where the next battleground is, if, in fact, price can take out today's high. Don't know what will happen as price gets up to that level, but that is the next battleground area. As I look for other topping signals for the other time frames out here, we don't have them. In fact, if anything, the 120-minute chart, which does have a valid TD9 top, Prices trade above that high, that high being 34,746, and that's a positive out here. So um, more likely than not, the Dow is headed back to the top of its junior consolidation. That's in about the 34,934 area. I'd watch a 30-minute chart for signals as to what its intentions are. Let's go take a look at Goldilocks and Silver, and then we've got a request inside the den to take a look at the GDX. So we'll do that as well. And we're just simply going to look at the precious metals before we go take a look at the mining equities. As we take a look at uh, gold, what do we know? Look, on a, on a weekly basis, you have a confirmed uh, Gartley buy pattern. As price was getting back to its breakout level of 1683, the daily time frame has a confirmed Gartley buy pattern. You're only going to be in bar number two of a TD9 count. The 30-minute chart out here, that's one that shows the topping signal, which has simply led to a sideways move. That topping signal uh, came in at uh, 630 this morning with a little bearish shooting star candle. But all price is doing is consolidating with inside that daily profile. So no damage done there, just simply a rest from yesterday's move higher. If we look for other topping signals, we do have them in various time frames. You've got one in the 60, Rhodes Mintum indicator top, sideways move. 120, same pattern. Uh, TD9 count top in the 240. TD9 count top that failed on the five-hour time frame chart out here. Uh, so I've just, you know, normal topping patterns, but nothing as pulled. There's, there's nothing here to There's no levels of support that have been broken to suggest that, uh, okay, the move higher is uh, over or completely over. If anything, the charts are communicating to you and I right now as a 148 in the afternoon, price should go target 1839. Now let's go take a look at the uh, GDX out here. Uh, with regard to the GDX, what do we want to do? We want to get the screens populated. I don't know that I wanted to start there necessarily, uh, but uh, let me pull up the GDX chart. What you're looking at here, by the way, these are eight of the holdings with inside the uh, GDX out there. But I want to pull over the GDX chart specifically because that is what Bob A, I believe, asked for. So when we take a look at the GDX, Bob, today is going to become bar number nine of a TD9 count. That says there could be a short-term top or a significant top that forms today or tomorrow. Remember, it can be the bar following bar number nine out here. Uh, there's a you know, what's positive is that yesterday was a close above TD9 breakdown resistance, 3156. That's telling us about a change in trend. 
So now we're kind of, okay, you've got a change in trend, and maybe you have a topping signal out here. Uh, where would price pull back to? Well, 31.56 would be an area that I would be looking at, but that's when we take a look at the GDX. Now, we talk about, or I spoke, I, I shared with you that today is going to become bar number nine for its pattern out there. I'm going to pull over the chart for the XAU, and if we take a look at the XAU, it is only in bar number eight. Now, that can also be a top. But more likely than not, this is going to go ahead and form bar number nine, maybe even the bar following nine as a higher high. So it does look like the GDX or the XAU wants to continue to move higher, but it is a time to be cautious. Uh, there's no topping signal. Well, there's no there's no uh, levels of support that have been broken on a short term time frame. Let's move from this chart here because these are these these instruments here do not represent uh, the uh, stop sharing, start sharing. Uh, these charts here represent uh, some of the uh, uh, higher weightings inside the GDX, so like Newmont Mining, not in bar number eight and above a key level of resistance. And if you take a look at gold, Rand Gold, Barrick Gold, that negated its TD9 count pattern. Steve Rhodes will be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in st petersburg florida the investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First mortgage? The Tiger First mortgage program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First mortgage program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So here's the conundrum with the GDX. There's a, there's a few of them. One, when when we see price hit a resistance level, and the resistance level that Bob and I are now looking at is in that center panel chart. That's the weekly time frame. 
And when price hits a resistance level, which is 3305, we're not all the way up there just yet, but as price hits that, what you look for is on a shorter term time frame. So we go from weekly down to daily to look for some type of topping signal. And, you know, on the GDX, we saw that we're in bar number nine. You can see an A to B equals CD to the upside. This suggests, okay, that uh, price is not going to make a one-to-one -one move. This is going to make more than a one-to-one -one move. And the reason why it suggests that is because the B to C retracement was only a 33% retracement out there. So close to a 0.382. And the way you factor that or you figure that out is just imagine taking a rubber band, wrapping it around your index finger as hard as you can, backing it off only 33%, letting it go. Measure that kind of energy if you wrap it all the way around and back it off your typical 61%. And let it go which one has more energy the one that has more energy typically ends up leading to more than a one-to-one -one a to b equals cd that's just a little stevie trick out there but it's a really important valuable a to b equals cd tool out there we can also see the price on the left side of that c to d leg it's on the strong side so that's not telling us at the one-to-one -one. so stevie what does this mean out here uh, it means we've got uh, you know different messages so always use stops um so as I we, we're, let me get back to these charts out here while I mumble and stumble. And that was the other thing to notice is that there are a couple of instruments that have already voided, negated their TD nine count tops. Ticker symbol GOLD has done that today or is doing that. Agnico Eagle, AEM, yet price is about to hit a resistance level of 5850. Um, so there and, and there are what else is negated? It's TD nine count top uh, looks like uh, gold fields is about to do that um well look folks we're out of time boy time flies uh stay tuned you've got two more great hours here david white your favorite polar bears up next with the power trading hour tom o'brien he'll take us on home and i'll be back here tomorrow early 8 a.m sharp so please tune in for the traders Ed show we'll make it as pertinent for the one to two o'clock show as we possibly can have a great day